Welcome back. We're continuing our discussion on getting comfortable with accounting, specifically the financial statements. So far we've talked about the income statement, the other comprehensive income statement, the balance sheet, and now we're going to turn to the statement of cash flows, which will make the most sense to you because it discusses how a company gets and gives cash. There's two basic formats of these statements. There's the direct format and the indirect format, and I'll point them out as we go through. There are three sections or three ways to get cash in your life and three ways to spend cash in your life, and that's from operating activities, meaning from day-to-day -day operations of your business. So operating activities generate cash generally through the income statement and through uh, transactions that uh, happen with current assets and current liability activities. There's uh, investing activities. That is where the cash is exchanged due to non-current asset activities such as buying or selling a long-term investment or buying or selling uh, property plant equipment. And the last section is the financing section and cash is given and received uh, due to activities that relate to long-term liabilities like notes payables, mortgage payables, those kinds of things, or stockholders' equity activities such as paying a cash dividend or selling stock in an IPO to investors. So the key numbers that we're going to find have to do with how, what's the net cash, cash in versus cash out, or source and use of cash from operating activities, investing activities, financing activities, then netting all those together, we get the net change. We take that and we uh, put it together with the cash balance at the beginning of the year to give us the cash balance at the end of the year. And we're also going to take a look at the cash flow statements to figure out what are the primary ways these different companies get cash and spend cash. So here's our first example. This is a cash flow statement for a sole proprietorship. And I can tell it's a sole proprietorship because, again, it says owner, there's withdrawals, there's no dividends. So, um, no, and this is also the direct approach. And it's the direct approach because you can see directly where the cash was received from or paid to and uh, in each of the sections. So net cash provided from operating activities is 17500 The cash that was used for investing was 20300 and we also had cash that came in from financing activities of 13000 So if I net those three together, I get the change in cash for the year, which is $10,200. If I add that to your beginning cash balance, $10,800, I'll come up with the ending cash balance of 21000 so, in your opinion, what are the primary ways the company gets cash and spends it? Well, let's look for the biggest one. Well, it gets its cash primarily from its customers. So, that's nice. I can spell customers. And how does it spend its cash? It appears it spends its cash to pay for expenses. Um, also to pay uh, uh, suppliers, those are usually your accounts payable, um, your, a bank loan, and also the owner. So those are the big items. So let's turn and look at a corporation. So we're going to uh, again, the cash flow is on two different uh, pages, so let's find these numbers for Facebook. So, operating activity, cash provided from day-to-day -day operations, uh, 
Cash is used for investing activities, seven billion, twenty-four million. Uh, looking at the large ones here, they bought marketable securities, ten billion dollars in marketable securities. That's interesting. And uh, financing, uh, six billion, two hundred eighty-three million. So the overall change in cash is eight seventy-two. Beginning cash, ending cash, and so I can find all of those numbers. Uh, let's see. Um, other ways that I got cash, I sold some stock. So that's a biggie. Yeah, those are the two biggest. All right, let's see if we filled it out right. So the cash provided uh, for operating investing, financing, the change in cash, beginning cash and ending cash, and what are the primary ways the company got, gets cash? Well, we look for something that's positive, and it looks like they sold stock. And how did they spend their cash? They bought stock, marketable securities. All right, so here's your chance to do it. Here's the questions. The company is Google. Remember that Google's 2013 is on the right. So I want to figure out the operating, investing, and financing. Now, Google is an example of an indirect method. And it's the indirect method because you start with that net income from the income statement. So again, you have to have the income statement done before you can do a cash flow statement. And it's indirect because I take that net income on the income statement, do a bunch of adjustments, and this gives me basically my cash net income. In other words, uh, my cash receipts versus my cash disbursements or cash payments is what this the operating gives you. Going on, do you see the investing, the financing, the change in overall cash, beginning and ending cash? So I'm going to pause. So did you get these numbers? And you can see that Google is very, very interesting because it primarily got cash from selling marketable securities and it primarily spent cash to buy more marketable securities. So if you come back to the investing section, which is here, you'll notice that they purchase $61 billion of marketable securities and they either had cash coming in because they sold marketable securities or those marketable securities matured for f almost $49 billion. So it kind of makes you wonder, did they make their money from day-to-day um, -day operations or from marketable securities? <laughs> This is why financials are so interesting. It's like soap operas. It's just fun to look and figure out what's going on. All right, here's one more. You know the questions? Here's Delta Airlines. Let's see how Delta did as far as their cash flow is concerned. Cash flow sometimes is known as the blood of business because you need to have the cash coming in so that you can pay your bills so you can survive. So cash from operating, cash from investing. See what they're investing in. Cash for financing, changing cash, beginning cash, ending cash, and those beginning and ending cash numbers are what shows up on the balance sheet. That's why you have to kind of wait to do the balance sheet uh, to do the cash flow statement because you need those beginning and ending cash numbers and you need it from the income statement, the net income. 
So you'll notice that delta is also the indirect method. It's the uh, major format that's used. Uh, more companies do indirect than they do the direct method. All right. So did you get the numbers? How did Delta get money? Well, they borrowed it from long-term borrowing. And they also made it, they were profitable on their income statement. How did they spend their cash? To repay debt and to buy equipment. Now it's your turn. Here's your self-reporting quiz. You know what to do. Find these numbers for Home Depot. And it goes over two pages. And send them in. So here's Home Depot, uh, cash, OK. And here's the second page. So all the best. See you.